it's ultimately rewarding when someone comes up to you and they're like, Jim, you guys changed my life this weekend. You just go, yeah, that's really good stuff. You know, it makes you, I don't know, it's awesome to enable people. But it's some profound changes we see in people. They come in nervous, they walk away empowered. And all of us remember when we actually came to this school to learn how to improve our skills and learn how to ride these big bikes off-road. There is no way I can perform this task or this with this huge big bike. But as we learned the techniques, we understood the balance, we understood what it was required for us to handle this bike off-road. Clients go, wow, I can't believe I could really do that. And because of what you guys showed us, the skills, the techniques, I was able to accomplish that and I feel so much better about myself. The other thing is, being an all-inclusive facility, we show up on Friday, our customers, our guests, they start to develop a strong sense of teamwork and camaraderie right from the get-go. Careful! It's all right here. You get to eat, relax together, you know, sharing the triumphs of the day together. Is this, uh, you taking the intro class? Yes. How do you feel? I feel good after that, just the entrance row, that was a little adventure itself. <laughs> when I first arrived, I was a little apprehensive. I wasn't sure what I was getting into. I've been riding a GS adventure, but mostly all on the road. The next thing you know, you're able to do things that I couldn't do before. Touring, but I've always looked at that dirt road and trail that went off to the side and wondered where does it go. Because I bought a GS 1200, I want to learn how to explore. Right on. Cool. That's a great reason. My background is almost exclusively street. Rode on the dirt many, many years ago. I can't say I was any good at it. I enjoyed it, and it was just a taste of it to say, you know, this is a skill that I could really exploit that I don't have. I talked to Jim quite at length, and I really liked his approach and kind of build up your own confidence, get you out of your comfort zone, but kind of teach you in a step-by-step -step fashion. Our programs start with the ultimate basics of off-road riding. How to maintain your balance and control, how to use the clutch and the brakes with finesse. But it's much more than just an off-road training class. There's a certain level of camaraderie that builds among people who have never met before, but have a common interest. And fireside chats, great dinners. We provide our own bunkhouse setting so that when folks come here they don't have to leave or go back to a hotel. They give you everything you need. The, the meals are outstanding. A gourmet chef preparing three meals a day for you. Uh, great food, great camaraderie. Uh, I probably put on a few pounds when I was here actually. Here we are the last day heading back and, and I feel like I could just keep doing this forever. The American mentality towards motorcycles compared to the rest of the world is you don't need any training to put your life at risk. No There's no world going to the upper cylinder. I applaud people that decide they want to come and learn how to ride these bikes both better and more safely because it's, it's an anomaly. Three ways basically you can get down the hill. Going down, very slow, very in control. You need to stop over there. You know, be ready to release if it locks Regardless up. of what it is they want to do, we can give them the tools to do it. So it's part vacation, part education. The key to this is take your time so you don't overheat. It's an all-inclusive experience as part of BMW's official off-road training program in North America.